All right. In reality, this is the first video. In theory, it's about the 10th. Uh, other stuff needs to come before this, but I happen to have a little bit of time, so uh, we're doing this now. Uh, here we go. Why? Because I'm not immortal. At some point, I might be taken up by uh, the rock gods, and uh, off I go. So, this also uh, happens to be an era in which uh, there's this thing going around, and we got to, you know, some of us may be kicked to home, and at some point I could say, hey, here, watch this video I made back uh, a little while ago. So there, it's in the record. Uh, ooh, next. Yeah, I got a cheat sheet here. This isn't fancy, folks. Uh, perhaps students that like what I do in class, because you can't do a ton of this in class, because I drive some students crazy. Some of them may think, I really like this. And when they're bored, not when they're having fun, but in those moments that teenagers sometimes have where they're bored, they could say, hey, I want to check this out. Here you go. Uh, next, students who hated it. It's not for them. No worries. Uh, 10 minutes. There will not be much editing, although my daughter might hook me up once in a while. Dad, I'm playing Fortnite. Perhaps not right now. Uh, glad we have that moment. Uh, so, why poetry? That's not for this video. That's one of the videos that'll come later that is actually supposed to go before this one. Here we go. Poetry. The reason why it is crazy important is, oh, forgot to introduce my co-pilot here. She's not dead. That's Squeaker. She's alive. Glorious creature. No one likes her but me. Uh, perhaps this song is de dedicated to her. Now, if I was a better person, I would uh, play a little bit of it. However, I pulled out the guitar today and I uh, kind of went to play it a little bit. Yeah, it's not tuned in any way, shape, or form. Like, it's not not kind of tuned. It, it's no longer a guitar. It's like a flute or something. Uh, so this video, this video, I'm not going to dee 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 dee. Nope, you're gonna have to do it without this one time. Oh, see, it's alive. Uh, so without musical accompaniment. Next, I'm not playing the video. I'm not playing the song. As in, I don't mean on my guitar. I'm not playing it at all because I, I don't know if this is copyright stuff. I'm just babbling about poetry for some reason because I'm into that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't want my video to get flagged because I'm ripping off some band. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about some band. Maybe I'll sing a little bit later. And in other videos, I'll play a little guitar, but not this one. Uh, tonight, today, this morning, whatever time you may be watching, we are looking at one of the videos. I, I always call them a video because they usually show part of the video in class. It's a lot. Ario Speedwagons keep on loving you. I'm not saying it's a classic song. I'm not saying it's the greatest example of poetry, but the song has elements to it that are absolutely necessary to the concept of poetry. I'm not messing around. Poetry is insanely important. We'll cover that another time. Now, I got the lyrics right here, so I'm occasionally gonna look over right here. It's not that I'm ditching you guys, but I just, uh, here we go. Uh, it leads off with, uh, stuff blah 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 i don't want to cover the blah 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 uh then we got you play dead but you never bled instead you lay still in the grass all coiled up and hissing hey that's metaphor metaphor yeah yeah metaphor i know what you're thinking a comparison yeah yeah now what is being compared there that's your job. Work it out. Coiled up, hissing. And a possum? 
why you're going to fail my class. Just saying. Uh, now, the next line. Uh, it says, oh, now I know all about those men. Let's pretend that line didn't happen because it doesn't work with what I'm trying to do at all. Like it, it actually is kind of awkward for what I'm trying to do right here. Let's. Uh, here we go. I'm not kidding. Poetry, when a student looks at the whole thing, they're often overwhelmed. And because they use metaphor and onomatopoeia and simile and other words, uh, next, often they, you know, hey, here's a Grecian urn. Here's a nightingale. Here's a field daffodils, chrysanthemums, poison ivy. You come sneaking up right behind me. Anyways, they often get bedazzled by it. Uh, and next, it's poetry. And it's almost like a high school thing to say, poetry sucks. It, <clears throat> Here's what you need. This line right here that you can't see. I'm about to say it. Here we go. And I meant every word I said. When I said that I'd love you, I meant that I'd love you forever. That's not poetry. Perhaps it's not Shakespeare. It's, is it Kevin Cronin? Whoa, I think it's Cronin. I think it is. Uh, he made an appearance at Ozark, I think. But, and I meant every word I said, we need this line. So, uh, I don't know what year this came out. Let me uh, look at my phone. 1980. I, I, I'm kind of proud of that joke. Uh, That's not cringy. Are you still here? Go, go, go play Fortnite or something. No one likes her. Irksome. This good daughters evil. Evil. And she just left. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's 1980. I know this because it said so on my phone. That was a good joke. Yeah, it wasn't. That's what I got, folks. Uh, it's 1980. <laughs> You're in a high school gymnasium somewhere. Perhaps it's 1981, 82, 83, 84. This song actually got, lasted a while. And you're listening to the song. And the thing is, you're dancing. Oh, wait, I need, I need a prop. Nope, oh, yeah, I got all dressed up for this. Here we go. Oh, yeah, wearing my Ted Nugent shirt. Yeah, I got all dressed up for this. Sorry for the bother squeaks. So you're dancing with your little snookum bear. And off you go and you're dancing. And when Ario Speedwagon says, and I meant every word I said, when I said that I'd love you, it meant I'd love you forever. We need that. We need the forever concept. Because here's the problem. We're probably not going to stay together forever. It's November in 1983. Let's go 83. Uh, Baltimore Orioles had just won the World Series, 1983. Yeah, look at this guy spitting knowledge on you. 83. Um, look, you're in high school. There's a darn good chance you're not going to be together forever. We still, that, that's what makes this more important than ever. We need this because we need to know. I'm not planning on dumping you next week. I'm not planning on dumping you because, ooh, that girl right there. Ooh, my friends tell me that I'm a... Uh, uh, pathetic and weak and I need to man no 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 in this moment as we're dancing probably wearing jeans they love their jeans didn't they those 80s love jeans this is before the skin tight Jordache and Sergio Valente that would dominate the late 80s the shopping mall era uh this is the earlier than that era before the uh, guys in the band started their hair this is when they just had long hair and I don't know, they had kind of a cool look now. Uh, I miss those days because I'm old and uh, we yearn for our youth. 
that's a poem for another day. Uh, I'm not telling you that I'm going to date you until next Thursday. I'm not telling you that we'll be together a little while and then I'm going to cheat on you. I'm not telling you that we'll be together until, you know, I got to deal with some stuff and it's not you. It's me. It's I would no. I will be with you forever. And there is a poem right there because we need that meaning. I realize I'm staring here instead of right there. I'm not editing this, but I will do a better job staring at the right spot. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. The editing team, my daughter, who isn't even here. Uh, gone. Uh, when I said that I'd love you, I meant I'd love you forever. We need this line. As we are dancing, and I'm feeling these weird tingly feelings all over, and my heart is going pitter-patter, and if she likes me, she's feeling it kind of too, and you know, I might be wondering, do I kind of lean my head in a little bit? Do I? Ario Speedwagon right now is spitting truths at me, because at this moment, I truly believe that we will be together forever. I have hopes that in a few moments, this song is going to end, and I'm not going to let go. And this song is going to end, and I'm not going to let go. And she isn't either. Booyah! We are together. It'll be glorious. It'll be magical. Unlike that, not glorious, not magical. Kind of pathetic. Okay. So what does this have to do with poetry? Poetry is about finding a line. We're often overwhelmed by a big chunk of poetry. What about a single line of poetry? Perhaps two lines like this gorgeous two lines right here. When I said that I'd love you, I meant forever. That, that is really cool. Now, right now, yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. In a moment, I'm going to start grading. Uh, got a stack right here. So that's what I'm going to do. But put me back in high school. I won't tell you when. 1988, there we go. I, was, I wasn't trying to hold out on you. I really couldn't remember at first. Uh, so during the late 80s, uh, 88, 89, 90, woo, go Knights. We were the Knights, as in with a K, not just darkness people. Uh, we were the shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, and I probably would have in this moment as I'm dancing with a, what are the names? A Debbie or a Stacy. I'm a shell. Uh, this is a little before Heather's and uh, Ashley's showed up. And Brianna's, they, didn't, they weren't invented yet. Uh, at this point, we were still looking at those other names I said. Uh, had a high school full of them. And uh, I needed Ario Speedwagon's poetry to get me to that moment. So there's my poetry moment. Okay, brush your teeth, wear your seatbelts.